Hello everyone and welcome to Just Bread. As time has been going on, things have been starting to reopen here in the United States. That means we are this much closer to having professional ballet back in our lives. All these professional ballet dancers in the United States have had so many months off in the studio. Because we've had so many months off from work, it is that much more important for us professional ballet dancers to make sure that we stay in shape. Other than working on physical aspects of your body, another very important thing to professional ballet dancers, especially during this time off, is diet. So what myself and Azusa have done recently is we started a diet plan. We are making sure that every day we are stretching, conditioning, and taking ballet classes and also eating correctly so we know that we'll be ready when we step back to work. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys basically a little look into what we're eating every day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and some snacks in between. So let's get to it. Ballet diet. Let's go. We are starting off with breakfast. Here in America, we call breakfast the most important meal of the day, and for professional ballet dancers, it's probably gonna be the first meal you eat before you take your morning ballet class. So what we like to eat in the morning is something very simple, easy, and light to get us kick-started for the day. So this breakfast just consists of two small dishes. The first dish that we will have this morning is one serving of oatmeal. With the oatmeal, we like to add some blueberries. Secondly, we always have an egg white omelette with spinach. So, let's get cooking some breakfast. Azusa is here so nicely to taste test the breakfast. Let us know what you think. That's a game joke. I personally I don't like the oatmeal, but this one is easy to eat because it's sweeter. It's like texture, like so dry and it stuck in my mouth. But this is so easy to eat. They don't look like amazing, but they taste good. Like without yellow, so sad. <laughs> The taste is good. It's if, nice. if it didn't have spinach in it, it'd probably not taste that great. Mm. So if you don't want to add spinach to it, you can always add any other vegetables to it, like add bell peppers, like green, red, or orange. You can add onion, broccoli, anything that you prefer. This diet breakfast, what would you give it out of 10? 9.5. 9.5? Mm. I like it. So that was our dancer's diet breakfast. We are going to now take class, stretch and work out a little bit, and then we'll see you for a small snack that we have always before lunch. So it is now about 12 o'clock. Azusa and I just took our own ballet bar inside of our house and we got nice and sweaty. And now we're going to have a little snack that we usually have between breakfast and lunch, something small and fresh just to get us going. And that's something small is a nice fruit smoothie. All you need are frozen strawberries, those frozen blueberries from we had for breakfast, milk, the old milk that we use for breakfast, any kind of milk will work, some yogurt, we do non-fat plain yogurt because, you know, just to get the healthiest one, and some ice cubes. And besides that, you just need a blender. Good? Mm. That's like the most taste out of that one. Strawberry? 
Blueberry. I think I added too many blueberries. Yeah, maybe you that's what you do. Make it like a slushy. Then again, if you want to, like we said before, if you want to get it more liquidy, uh, add more milk or more ice. How do you like it? After the class, it's like I'm got so sweat. Let's go to class. Let's go for like an after class kind of thing for a ballet dancer. What would you rate that out of ten? Nine. Nine. Mm. Nine out of ten. Yeah. There you go. One thing we want to tell you guys before we go to lunch is that blender that we just used. Small little light pack. If you want to wash that up real quick, just add some water and soap into it and just let it blend. Boom. You have a nice clean blender. All right. Let's get to lunch. So it's in the afternoon and it's officially time for lunch. And that simple but delicious lunch is tofu and corn. Let's go. Now it is lunch time with Azucha. Yay! Itadaki, enjoy! Mmm. Mm. What do you have to think about what it looks like? <laughs> I mean, like um, the brown. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Color wise, it's like, you know, a little bit sad, but. Taste wise, it's good. Mm. I told you it's popping. Yeah, perfect. Pretty good. So, Azucha, out of 10, what would you give this lunch? 8. 8. I don't know, like smoothie, like fancy, fancy, and then like now it's a little bit sad, but taste is good. If you're going on a diet, tofu is the way to go. Just pan fry it and then put it with a vegetable, and it should be pretty healthy. Alright, let's move on to dinner. <music> It is now dinner time, and for dinner, we're going to do a very healthy choice, and simple too, but delicious. And that choice is some chicken and vegetables. Let's go stir fry these up. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> it definitely does need something, mm. but the vegetable is so good. Mm. And then color wise? <laughs> Better color wise this one. Mm. Add more color. Alright, Izucha, for your final rating today, what would you give dinner out of 10? Mm. 9.6. 9.6? You liked it better than everything else? Mm. Well, I'm hungry. So those are some examples of what we've been eating every single day since we started this diet. Not only is it important for us to keep working hard, but we also have to eat right in order to stay in shape so we're ready to step back in that studio. I'd like to thank Azucha for helping us in this video today. The link to her channel will be in the description and the comments down below. If you guys have any ideas of what videos you want to see in the future, please let us know in the comments down below. Give this video a like and also subscribe. 
Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Chandra Turtle. Onegaishimasu. And remember, we are.